Hello. Okay. So this is officially the second episode of Glitch Girl. I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's explore the story together. All right. <clears throat> now, the description it says for the second episode is your phone clock changed to zeros. Yes, your phone clock changed to zeros. That means zero is coming for you. What will you do? And just who is hiding underneath that sinister hood? Read now to find out. Let's do this. Oh, ads. I'm gonna say watch ad. I'll be right back after this. Glitch Girl, episode two, a message from Zero. Zeros where there shouldn't be zeros. That zero guy is coming for me. What do I do? Okay, so, um, what am I gonna do in this situation? Oh, what was it called? Hold on. Put this down a little bit. Okay, what am I gonna do in this situation? Run from your apartment, leaving your grandma behind. Run from your apartment, talking to grandma with you. Call Steve. Okay, so um, what would I do in a real situation like this? <laughs> well, first of all, I don't really know seeds like that. <laughs> but Zero's coming for me, and I need to make this decision quickly. I don't really know seeds like that, and I don't really know if I should call seeds because I don't really know if I can trust seed. Um. I, you know what? I feel like the best decision right now to do is to probably just run from my apartment, taking my grandma with me. But run where? That's the way I'm saying. Like, where would I go? You know, I don't know. I'm not calling C. I don't know C like that. I cannot. For all I know, C could be a really good, bad, bad guy. I don't know what's happening right now, but I'm not leaving my grandma behind. So run from your apartment, taking my grandma with me. Grandma, do you think you can get up for me? I'm not leaving her behind. We have to go somewhere. I'm not even sure where, but we can't stay here. It's dangerous. That's it. Just follow me, okay? I won't let anything bad happen to you. I promise. I'm sorry, y'all, if it seems a little bit glitchy. Um. I'm still figuring things out. I'm sorry if it seems a little bit glitchy. I'm still, you know, this is one of my first gaming videos. So, no, this is not. This is one of, this is my second gaming video. Second gaming video. How's your cookie, Grandma? It's double chalk chip. Did she mean double chocolate chip? It's do double chalk chip, just how you like it. Yeah, she meant, okay. I'm scared to look at my phone, but I need to see if those zeros are still showing. Shoo. Please, everyone, be careful. And remember, don't give out your personal information um, too quickly. Don't, you know what? And if you're not feeling good about giving out your personal information, don't give out your personal information. And especially like if you get a weird email, and it's like, just be careful. I'm trying to say, be careful who you give your information to. Especially like if you get a weird email and it's asking for your personal information and you don't feel good about it, do not give your personal information because it could be a hacker. All right, 
20, yep, this is military time. 2025, Friday 18th, September. So I'm guessing this is still on the same day of where we left off last time. It's back to normal. Does that mean he's given up? What do you all think? What do you all think? Do you think he's given up? You know, I can't say anything because I don't want to, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say nothing, nothing. Um, maybe he's forgotten about me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all, hear this music. Y'all. Okay, so um, I hope you all can hear the music and my voice at the same time. I might cut it down a little bit because I don't want it to be too loud, but your phone clock, oh, your phone clock changed to zero. After that weird dude, oh, after what that weird dude said on the TV. That is so scary. I know, I thought I was a goner, but nothing happened. Well, that makes two of us who didn't get much sleep last night. Don't tell me you saw zeros as well. I'm gonna just, cause I'm scared. No. I'm scared that it's too loud and I don't wanna. Okay, I want you all to be able to hear me and the music, but um, hopefully you can hear a little bit. Um, no, Twiggy owes someone money and they came knocking in the middle of the night. Oh, geez. Why is she borrowing money from these lone sharks in the first place? She gambles a lot. Have you ever asked her to stop gambling? Of course I have. She tells me to if off. I don't know what to do. Any advice? Dump her dump her so she's in a relationship with this um person so twiggy is my character's friend's girlfriend yeah twiggy is my character's friend's girlfriend so i think you should get a second job to pay for her gambling addiction tell her to get a second job dump her well twiggy is not being a good person to my friend so I'm telling her to dump her. Y'all, if, if you're in a toxic relationship and your partner or whoever you're in a relationship with is constantly getting you into things, trouble, you're always doing so much for this person, trying to get them out of trouble, leave that person, dump that person, break up with that person. You know, I, I don't want you all getting into trouble because of something that your partner did, you know? They're constantly getting themselves into terrible situations, dragging you into them. And you're always trying to solve the problem for that person and it's just too much for you. Y'all, no, no, leave, leave, leave. You know, know your value, you deserve better, all right? I love you, God loves you. All right, let's get rolling. I think you should dump her. Like, come on now. Okay, she's got a gambling, a gambling, it, she's got a gambling addiction, and she told her girlfriend to if off. That's really mean. So, dump her. Yeah. 
I like the way she looking. Dump her. Mm-hmm. Shoot. Dump her? Yes, yes, dump her. She's not treating you right. Yeah. Why do you let her treat you like this? I love her, Grace. I, I, listen, y'all. I want to say this. I know a lot of people love, okay, there are a lot of people who love the person that they're with, like in love with that person. But that person is not treating the other person right. You, you know what I mean? Like, okay, say Shelly was in a relationship with uh, Bob and Bob wasn't treating Shelly right. But she, and then she went to talk to her friend. The friend said, dump him because he's mistreating you. And Shelly said, but I love him. I love him so much. Y'all, sometimes, you know, when you're in love with a person, that person should be treating you right. It shouldn't just be you. It shouldn't be, you know, just one person trying to make the relationship work. Sometimes love isn't enough. Sometimes love isn't enough. Like you can love someone so much, but that person isn't treating you right. They can claim to love you, but they're not showing you that they love you. Or they can claim to love you, but they're bringing you down in a way. You know, sometimes love isn't enough. You want that person to show you, to, to treat you, to make you feel good, you know? You want that person to have not only love, but a lot of um, valuable uh, characteristics inside of a relationship to offer. Not just that, like personally for me, I want men, Mr. Wright, to not only have a lot of love for me, but I want him to make me feel good. I want him to take me out so that I can shop. I want him to be set, established. I want him to have like a, a house. I want him to be uh, good with um, money. Um, but I want him to be in love with me and I'm gonna be in love with him, you know? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't care how much if I was in a relationship, I wouldn't care how much that person says, I'm in love with you, I'm in love with you. If I'm breaking my back, taking care of both of us, and you're not doing anything but sitting on the couch like a bump, then your love isn't enough. I don't want to be with you, you know? Just know your value and know that you're worth it. And I just want you to, if you're in a relationship where you're taking care of both of y'all and that person is doing nothing but being a bum, sitting on the couch, eating your food, doing nothing but saying, I have love to offer, leave, leave. This is dedicated to all the people in there that's in, me, toxic, that's in toxic relationships. You know, I want my Mr. Wright to take care of me. But um, I love her, Grace. When you love someone, you love them even when they treat you badly. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, you can have love. She can have love for her, but that doesn't mean she has to stay with her, you know? She can forgive her and everything, but that doesn't mean she has to stay in a relationship with her. Leave, like, leave. I don't care how much you claim to love me. I don't care how much I love you. If you're not treating me right, I am out of the relationship. Done, no. She needs to leave her. She needs to leave her. She's vulnerable right now because she's in love with her. She needs to leave her right now. That's what she needs to do. That's what she needs to do. I just wish she'd treat you with a little, with, I just wish she'd treat you with a bit more respect, that's all. Grace, I think your phone is buzzing. Um, it's Seth? Oh, it's Seth. Your date? Answer it. Oh, and I want to say for all the men and women, teenagers and non-teenagers, if you're in a relationship and you're not being treated right, leave. Know your value. 
You deserve to be treated better. These are for the people who are good people in bad relationships. I'm not dedicating this to bad people. These are for people who are good people in bad relationships. Good men, good women, good teens, and bad relationships. If you're a good person, I'm dedicating this to you. Leave that relationship if it's toxic for you. Leave. Grace, see? Hey, Grace, how you doing? I'm doing good, checking if I'm honest. You know what? It is a little scary, but listen, I have got the Lord. I have got my family. I'm set. I'm thinking about if I was actually in this game. You know, I mean, since she is my character, she has got her grandma. She has got. Well, I mean, I don't know if she's serving the Lord. But since I'm playing her character, she's serving the Lord. She has got her grandma. She has got the Lord. She has got her best friend. She's doing fine. She's not going to let this shake her. She's doing good. Much better than I was last night anyway. What happened last night? My phone clock suddenly showed all zeros. Are you kidding me? Nope, but it's fine. Nobody came for me. It must have been my phone playing up or something. Hey, what are you doing for lunch today? For, wait. Hey, what are you doing for your lunch break today? Is she trying to ask her on another date? <laughs> okay. Probably just having a sandwich in the back room, like I usually do. It's too nice of an afternoon to be holded, holded, hold up in that dark bar. Come to lunch with me. We can get to know each other better. I'll even tell you my deepest, darkest secret. What do you say? If this if this is a diamond choice, y'all, I'm building up my diamond. Let me show you. Let me, oh, whoa. Oh. It's a diamond choice. Oh. I'm sorry. Um. I'm gonna build up my diamond. I will. I had like more diamonds than this, but I think I, I was playing a, one in another, another episode of something, of a different story, and I spent my diamonds on it, and now I have two. Y'all, I'm gonna build up my diamonds for, for, for this story, okay? I will. But for right now, I'm broke. So, lunch with Seth, lunch with Seth sounds much more fun than staying here. Should I go? Well, mm, eat lunch in the back room alone. I have to. I have to. So don't. I just have to. I actually don't get much of a break for lunch. How about we meet some other time when we can relax properly? You know what? You're right. Catch you another time. Well, hi to your friend for me. Will do. You know what, y'all? I'm thinking. I don't really, I don't really understand why I um. I don't really understand why I told my character cat murder. Told my character to continue dating Seth in the last episode because he really isn't like in the last episode when I was saying he was scared because like you know I was explaining that it could be a teenage hacker but but come on now that could also be a villain that's wanting to destroy every single 
um, person inside of the city or country where they're in. And he was like, no, nah, it's probably just a teenage hacker laughing his butt off. Ha, ha, ha. I'm like, he was really telling me not to take it seriously. And now this zero guy shows up on my phone in the next episode. And I'm like, why didn't he take it seriously? I don't know. All right, we'll do. If you hear this music, jam with me. Harper's taking money from the cash register. Mm. Not good, Harper. Don't be stealing. Come on now. What should I do? Pretend you haven't seen anything? Confront Harper. All right. So, um, this is as if I were in the game. And what choice would I make if this were real life? She's my best friend. But, no, wait, y'all, I want to also encourage everyone out there, if you're friends with someone and they're doing something really bad, they're trying to encourage you to help them with their badness, don't do it. Don't put yourself in that situation. Come on now, walk away. Walk away, don't be friends with that person anymore if that person is a troublemaker or constantly starting trouble or constantly getting you in situations that you don't want to be in, or constantly asking for you to help them in their badness. Don't do it. If that person is a bad influence, walk away. Distance yourself from that person. Um, what should I do? Confront her. I'm confronting Harper. You should not be stealing from the cash register. Harper. What are you doing? Grace. I thought you were still on the... I was just... Stealing money from Jono, Jono, you're going to get yourself fired. I just needed 10 bucks to give Twiggy, that's all. No, 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 no. No, Harper. This Twiggy person. Well, oh, I'm kidding. You hit it. No, 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 no. But this this Twiggy person, I'm, I'm not liking her. Um, no, she could ask me for ten dollars. I'm sure my character's not broke with how I am with these diamonds. Yeah, she could ask me for ten dollars. Shoot. Please don't tell Joe no about this, Grace. I'm begging you. Please don't tell Joe now what. What's going on, girls? Should I cover for Harper or tell him the truth? I would make girl talking about I just need ten bucks. Harper was checking how much we've taken today. Harper was stealing from the register. Please be the right choice. Please be the right choice. 
please be the right choice. Oh, I know what I'm about to choose right now, and I'm not gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna let y'all be surprised. Um. Please don't be upset. Oh, I feel messed up. That was, I don't know. I hope I made the right choice, to be honest. Is there something I missed from reading? Did she tell me something? Did my husband tell me something that I missed from reading? I'm just thinking of my thoughts right now. I'm like, has she had promised me something? Please don't. Okay, wait, hold up. In the comments, if you do comment, please don't. Don't be mean to me about this whole thing because I'm just, I'm debating if I made the right choice right now. Because at the same because uh, she's a good friend that just made a bad decision. This is different from what I was talking about before. But I don't want to. Hmm. I hope I made the right choice by not covering for yeah and I really want to hear what the and if you have a different opinion please comment comment because I want to see what your opinion is on this whole thing if you have a different opinion please comment down below um thoughts and opinions on this because I know everybody has different opinions and not all opinions are the same as mine so I want to hear your thoughts on this and if you have um, a thought that you want to comment on about the choice I just made please comment but don't be mean about it please okay all right please because your advice could be helpful for the next um choices that are to come in the next episodes okay and I really want to hear what the useless oaf has to say. Who's the useless oaf? See if he has any real plans for cleaning up this crap hole city. Music off! TV on. Oh, okay. I thought he was commanding someone to like shut the music off or something. Um, people of New York, many of you have seen a broadcast interruption, interruption yesterday from someone making false threats. But I would like to assure you all that this is, but I would like to assure you all that the city is in safe hands. This is the work of nothing more than a prankster. Hmm, he seemed pretty advanced in hacking to be just a prankster. He seemed like 
You know, in Flash, when people hack the computers and they're like, ha, 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 Flash, I'm coming to get you. Or you remember how that lady was her name? She was like, she traveled with electricity and she was coming to get someone in Supergirl. And then um, uh, Miss Cat or whatever her name was, she was like, I'm not afraid. Supergirl's going to help me. And then the girl, the, the the lady, she the the woman with the electricity power, she came through the TV. No, she interrupted the TV and she was like, I'm upset and she was like I'm upset I'm gonna come get you I'm gonna come do this I'm gonna come do that she almost killed her successfully you know what I'm talking about that's a lot of like that's, that's kind of like hacking I mean she had a superpower so but you know that seem, seems like some pretty advanced hacking to just be a prankster I don't know and there's nothing to worry about okay thank you for the assurance I'm still a little suspicious here I repeat, there is nothing to worry about. <clears throat> Rachel, what's wrong with the help motor? All the text has changed to zeros. This is nothing more than a prankster. Come on now. Is this some kind of joke? Shoot, remember when the zero said, if there's zeros where there's not supposed to be zeros, uh, you'll know I'm coming for you? There's zeros where there's not supposed to be zeros. He's coming for this man. Someone fix it. This is being broadcast live. I can't breathe. Why can't I breathe? What's happened? I think he's um, panicking, having a panic attack. If not that, What in the name of, oh my. If you hear any weird sounds, it's coming from my phone from the episode game. Citizens of New York, your major is dead. He is the first to die at my hands, but he will not be the last. For decades, you have taught your children to compete, to crush each other in pursuit of fame and fortune. You have made the richer richer and the poor poor. And you have thus turned in a vacuum of materialism. This is about to change. As you may already know, hundreds of blue droid robots were left def defunct after the explosion at Electrobit. Now, the blue droid, the, the blue droid robots are the robots that are supposed to be helping the police force protect the city from evil. That's what I was talking about in the first episode when you saw those blue figures. They have been sleeping for two years. They are no longer sleeping. Every one of them is now under my control and has been unleashed upon the city. This, ooh, talking about this is some prank. Hmm. They are coming for you. For who? And they will make you pay no matter who you, okay, that is just messed up. Because a lot of innocent people sound like they might be getting killed in this. When my blue droids sweep the streets and tear down everything in their path. Your government, your systems, your hierarchy will mean nothing. Anyone who tries to stop me, you will be reduced to zero, just like Major Hicks. Mayor Hicks, prepare for a new world of anchoring. The time is of reckoning is now. Oh my gosh. One second, y'all. I'm going to be right back. I'm back. All right. What are we going to do?
Girls, grab your stuff from the staff room and get to your homes as soon as possible. What about the bar? I never thought I'd say this, but... The bar. Right now, we all need to go home and lock our doors. Dang. 10 minutes later. I hope she's not mad at me for what happened in there. All right, text me when you get in so I know you're safe. Okay, Grace? You need to do the same. Will do, but I will do. You need to do the same. Text me when you get safe. And make sure you text me back, yes. Oh, shoot. Glitch girl, to be continued. Oh. Wow. What? Y'all. Y'all. This is gonna end it like that? This is gonna end it like that? All right. Well, I'm about to read the next description so you can be excited for the next video. Zero's corrupted blue droids have been unleashed upon the city and no one has you trapped. Wait, let me, let me reread that. Zero's corrupted blue droids have been unleashed upon the city and no one has you trapped. Can you defeat him and get back to your grandma in time? Read now to find out this, to find out this and a whole lot more. I'm sorry, that did not say no one. Let me read that one more time. I'm so sorry. Um, Zero's corrupted blue joys have been unleashed upon the city and one has you trapped. Okay, so she's trapped. One has you trapped. Can you defeat him and get back to your grandma in time? Read now to find out, find out this and a whole lot more. Sounds interesting. So I want to know if she's going to survive. I want to know if her grandma's going to survive. Sure. Well, let's find out this in the next episode together. Please share, like, comment, subscribe, and check out our Facebook wall. Uh, let me go to Facebook real quick. Hello, y'all. When I said R, I meant my mother and I. So I have a Facebook wall, Amanda Weeks. That's the picture. Ooh, that fool look good. That fool look really good. Okay, well, um, yes. And then I'm going to show you my mother's Facebook wall. This is my mother's Facebook wall. She said, hello to all. I am a child of Jesus Christ, our King, a dedicated mother of three. To God be the glory. Amen. Uh, right here should be a picture of the whole family. Here it is, here it is. That's going to be the picture in the background that you see on my mother's wall. But yeah, this is her Facebook wall. Please check out both of our Facebook walls. It's on the link in uh, our YouTube channel. Um, yeah. Okay. So I hope you all enjoy it. I'm so excited for the next episode, and I hope you are too. Have a blessed day. Remember, God loves you always. And remember, if a friend is toxic to you, leave. If a friend is getting you into trouble, leave. If a friend is trying to drag you into trouble, leave. Please, no, I'm, I'm being serious though. And if a friend is being rude to you, that person is not a friend at all. If they're constantly wanting to drag you, drag you into tr trouble or wanting you to clean up their mess, they are not a friend at all. And if you are with someone and that person is a bum, this goes for men and women.
well, I'm talking about this goes, this advice is for good men and women that are in toxic relationships. Men, if you're with a, a woman or a, a female and she is a bum, leave her. If she's a gold digger, leave her. And men, I mean, and women, if you're with a guy and he is a bum, leave him. If he's a gold digger, leave him. If he's any type of bad influence, or, or if she's any type of bad influence, leave them. Don't do it. Don't say. But yeah, okay, so I love you. God loves you. Please also check out TikTok. I also have TikTok with my mother. Let me show you that real quick before I end this video. This is how it looks. This is how it looks. So you'll see Jesus Woman. We have a lot of videos. And uh, I really want to show you one of our videos. I'm not going to do it right now, but um, okay. So, <laughs> all right. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Remember that God loves you. He's in your heart always. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And just remember, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Leave a toxic relationship, toxic friendship, toxic family member. Leave, leave, leave. Know your value. Know that you are made in the image of God. And if you ever feel like you're a mistake, if you ever feel like you just don't, you just shouldn't be on earth because you feel like you're a mistake, like you shouldn't have been here. Don't think that way. Because God created you. You're meant to be here. You have a purpose. And God does not make mistakes. So I love you all. Bye. Have a beautiful, blessed day. I know I said that like three times. Peace out. Um, I'll see you in the next episode.